Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Connie and this channel is all about plants. So if you're interested in that type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna be working on a really fun project that I've been wanting to do for a while now. And since my daughter's in town and it's also Mother's Day weekend, I thought it would be something really nice for us to work on together. So basically, I'm gonna be doing a DIY wheelbarrow planter. And what I'm going to do is use an old wheelbarrow that we have outside and refinish it and make it look a lot nicer. And I'm going to add some plants that I have outside already into it, into a nice arrangement. I'm also going to go out and buy some more either plants or flowers to add to the arrangement and all the other supplies that you would need to do this project. So the first thing you're gonna need is a wheelbarrow. So if you have one already, that's a plus. But if you don't, for reference, I got mine from Walmart and they actually honored the online price, which was cheaper than the price in the store. I'll try to link the one that I got so you can see for reference. You're also gonna need a drill to drill some drainage holes. Also some spray paint so you can paint the wheelbarrow whatever color you like it to be. I think I'm gonna go with either a neutral or a nice sage color. Also, you're gonna need some soil, some plants, and some flowers. As another option, if you'd like, you can also do a cacti and succulent arrangement. But in my case, since I'm gonna be using the plants that I have already, I'm just gonna go with plants and some flowers for a burst of color. So without further ado, let's get started with this project. This is the wheelbarrow that we got from Walmart. The brand is Expert Gardener. So I know we got this at a really good deal. Um, they honored the online price and it was about $35. I'm going to pull it up now on their website and see how much it's going for now. But we only used it to lay down some sod and I don't know what else we might have used it for. But right now we're not using it for anything else. I think this is metal. wasn't sure if it was plastic, but it is metal. So we're going to screw some drainage holes in here so this is what it would look like here under this tree i think once it's painted and all the plants are in it and everything it'll look nice and plus the tree gives it some shade i don't know if i'll leave it on this side or put it on the other side what i'd like to do is possibly use some of the plants that we have around this tree um, initially when we put these plants here, it was just because we moved to the house and we didn't know where else to put them. I have all my Hoyas on here now, but most of the ones down here were plants that were kind of in rehab. Um, we have a snake plant. This one's actually blooming. There's a philodendron birkin. There's also a ficus audrey. There's a little marble peperomia, an aloe. A blue agave. And I believe that's an anthurium plowmanii or hookerii. So I'm thinking maybe what I could do is combine all of these in there and maybe add a burst of color with some seasonal flowers. So that's the plan for now. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting the plants that we have already inside of it just to kind of get an idea of how much space we have. Now that I'm looking at it, it isn't all that big. Maya, can you start putting some of the plants in it so we can see how much space we're working with? So obviously they're in pots right now, so that is gonna take up a little bit more space, but 
and also a lot of these have been neglected so we're gonna have to clean them up so that's gonna be a part of the whole project is cleaning these up to make them look a lot better we're gonna prune off some of the damaged leaves and Oh, now she's she's looking for lizards that might be hiding under there. That's just about it. Yeah. Okay, so these fit in here just right. So I'm thinking this is good enough for us to start and then we can do a little bit of plant shopping for some colorful flowers to add to it maybe something that trails over okay so we're at home depot and they had these beautiful pink zinnias i love these so much they were 3.98 and they also had some orange ones back there the orange ones were really pretty also They also had some really pretty purslanes in different colors. Kalanchoes in this pink. And they also had some in yellow for $7.98. They also had these marigolds in orange and yellow. And I heard these are really good for deterring mosquitoes. They also had this Creeping Jenny, and I thought this would be a good option also to trail over the wheelbarrow. These Blew My Mind Morning Glories were also really pretty. This cactus is actually flowering, it's so pretty. Another option would be these vincas. These are really pretty and colorful, 198. They also come in this really pretty purple. All right, we're here at Lowe's, so we're gonna see if they have anything different. Ooh, look at these. Wait, these are zinnias? These are zinnias for 188. Really cute. Great. Wow, look how pretty these are. Let's see. It says ready refill, gardening made easy. Pick your plant, pick your planner, drop in. So what are these? Calibracoa. Full sun. These are so pretty. I love these. So this is definitely an option. Bandana lantana. Full sun. Bloom season. Summer and fall. They have these coleas right here. This one's actually called Chipotle coleas, $3.98. These also look like those Calibracoas. Yep. Conga dark blue, $6.48. Look at this alocasia. I don't know what kind it is, but it's in this live trends pot. $25.98. Really cute. Wait, okay, so they have a spring saving sale right now. Two for 30 on these plants. It's probably all these. So, oh, look, they have the um, Jet Peace Lily down here in these pots at this store. It's a variegated Peace Lily. 
few of them down there. Here's another one. Look at that beautiful variegation. And then they also have over here the lemon meringue pothos. There's quite a few of these. So these are the two colors that I'm trying to choose between. This is like a sage sort of color. It's uh, called spruce green. And then they have this one right here, heirloom white, which is like a creamy color. I'm leaning more towards the heirloom white. And also the heirloom white is paint and primer, but this one isn't. So these are the colors right now. I think I'm gonna get like three bottles. These are some really pretty caladiums. Moonlight caladium, 648 each. Look how huge this leaf is. And look how pretty these Gerber daisies are. So cute. So we got two of these containers of these flowers right here. And I think it's gonna be just enough. There's new growth here in the middle of this aloe. All right, so we're gonna try to drill some holes in here for drainage. This is metal, so hopefully this goes smoothly. We used a little bit of blue tape, painter's tape, to protect the rest of it from the paint, but we're gonna use this plastic to kinda wrap around it and protect it even further. You see, it's coming out that color that I wanted it to be, but you see how the primer is like not mixed in, it's white? Working against the wind here. That's the first coat. I'm gonna let it dry now 
and then start with the second coat to fill in some of these blotchy areas. I'm all hot and sweaty, but I just wanted to stop in and say that there's a few things that are working against me right now. The wind, every time I spray, it's the wind is blowing the spray all in my face. The other thing is that the spray paint, it's not really spraying smoothly. It's kind of separating the primer from the actual color. So some spots are white and some are more of the cream color. So I'm hoping that now that the first coat is on, once I shake up the second bottle, that it comes out a little bit smoother. And yeah, that's it for now. I'm just letting it dry. And you can kind of see how it's gonna look now. And then I'm gonna do a second coat. Once I do the second coat, I'll let that dry and then we'll start putting the soil in and potting up the plants. What's up, lady? Second coat. All right, so there's a second coat on there right now, and I'm just gonna let that dry. It shouldn't take too long. It's not perfect. Um, when you're using the spray paint, there's gonna be a lot of dripping and imperfection. So if you want it to be perfect, I would recommend that you just use uh, paint and a paint brush, and um, you get a smoother finish. But for this, it's gonna be a little imperfect. It's going to have sort of a weathered look to it, so it's going to be fine. I didn't paint the whole entire inside because the soil is going to go in there, but I did want to paint the rim of the inside because I'm not going to put the soil all the way to the top, so I'm not sure exactly how much of the inside was going to show, but um, you can see from here it's looking pretty good. All right, so I think it's pretty dry now, and we're gonna go ahead and add the garden soil. This is just the miracle Grow all-purpose soil. And once we add this bag, I'll see if we need to get a second bag, but hopefully this is enough. If not, I have a few other bags because these are actually on sale at Lowe's for like $2.50 a couple weeks ago. So I kind of stocked up on those for my outdoor plants. All right, so we're definitely gonna need another bag. All right, so we got the second bag. We're gonna add that in there and hopefully it comes up to that line. We'll probably have to do a little mound right here because I wanna put the flowers on this side so that they can kind of trail over. All right, we're gonna start adding the plants in there. So we're just gonna take them out the pots and go ahead and sit them inside of here and see where we wanna arrange them. Go ahead and get um, the other flowers and just take it out of the pot. Look at these roots. Make the part that's trailing go that way or like over. Mm -hmm. The ledge. Six. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't want to see you. Okay, so we're going to have to open up a little bit. Oh, so, so. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, it's close to the water. Got to break it up a little bit. You might need to get more soil. I think we're going to need to get more soil because we got to build it up around the bottom of those roots. You know, mm -hmm. you can do it like this, like this, and then we'll, we'll fill up the soil. Like, make sure the end of it is right here, and then we'll build up the soil. Anthurium plowmanii. It's not even root mound. Roots look pretty good. This is a Peperomia marble, but it's been in the sun for a while, so you don't see much of the marbling, but that's what this one is. This was down to about one or two leaves, and then I put it outside to give it a second chance, and it came back, so. That's what that little area was for. It's the rehab section, and it's working. Look at this, this is the aloe. No soil whatsoever in this pot. This is the philodendron birkin. All right, so this is another one that was down to a couple leaves and I gave it a second chance and it's growing back nicely. This is a ficus audrey. We already got it out of the pot. I'm just gonna break up some of the soil. And I forgot I had this one because I wanted the tallest one to go in the middle but I'll see if I could do some rearranging. Should we put this one in the middle? No. We're really just placing them right now to see where they look best. And then we're gonna rearrange and put them where we think they should go. What do you think of that? Once we top it, I mean, I'm not really feeling it. All right, guys, we're working against time. It's getting dark outside, as you can see, and um, we're gonna have to do a little bit more to this. I actually took the ficus audrey out because that's a tree and the roots on that were really long and this is not deep enough for that. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get more flowers to fill in around these empty spaces and I might also add some stones. So this is what it's looking like right now. Still not done. We got the flowers hanging on this side. I think those look so pretty. So I do wanna add more flowers. So for now, we're gonna start packing up and I'll pick up on this tomorrow. It's the next morning and I'm just checking the wheelbarrow to see how it looks in the daytime and to see what I need to add to it because I'm gonna go back out to Home Depot today and get more flowers. Also have to take this blue tape off. So this is what it's looking like right now. 
Hey guys, I just dropped Ginger off at the groomer and it's pretty early. So I'm in front of Home Depot right now and I'm gonna go in there and see if they have any zinnias and also if they have any other flowers that I wanna add to the planter. I'm thinking of maybe adding some purple heart tritoscanthias because I think those will look nice trailing over the planter. Also, after this, I'm probably gonna stop by Dollar Tree or Walmart to see if they have any little cute knickknacks to add to the planter. And I also wanna add a watering can for decor and also so I can have on that side to water the plants. So that's what my plan is today. So I'm gonna go inside Home Depot right now and see what all they have. I think these are global greens, but they have some nice light variegation on them. Look at this. And then they also have these chameleon ZZs. They also had some philodendron prints of orange and cocodamas, and I had never seen these before at a Home Depot. Those were going for $20.98. Palladiums are so beautiful. Look at this. They come in this container for $16.98. They also have a smaller container for $7.98. Look how cute these are. Moss Rose Portulucata, $1.98. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen these. These flowers are so cute and they come in all different colors. Look at this, I love these. I think those are so cute, $6.98. All right, guys, so something told me to come check out the succulents, and look what I found. This is going home with me. Oh, my goodness. $26.98 Dragon Tree Bones. So this is a Euphorbia White Ghost. Look at it. You get four inside of here. Mine. Euphorbia Fire Sticks are, I think, $8.98, and it's a really good size. They're already sun-stressed, beautiful, good price. I also really love these Silver Dollar Jades. I think they're so cool. They have a, the larger leaves than the regular jade. They're this really light mint color, and it has the sun-stress on the edges. Look at these Celosia, $6.98. This color is so vibrant. Even the leaves are. So I think I'm gonna add some Creeping Jenny. So this can kind of trail over. I think this would be a good addition. $5.98 for this small size though. It's kind of high. These roses are so pretty. $24.98 for a container. This Mexican Heather is a perennial. $14.98 for this. All right, here's all the purslanes and all the flowers are opened up because they open up with the sunlight. I'm at that first Home Depot again and I picked up these zinnias. They also had the orange ones, but I didn't like those as much as I like these. So I think I'm gonna get maybe four of these and some of these marigolds. But I also wanted to show you, I've never seen the Kilo Beauty bulbs here before, $14.98. Guys, I stopped by Walmart and they actually had zinnias. They have a different color than the ones that I got from Home Depot. It's a light pink color, really pretty. And these are $154. Also, look at these beautiful arrangements they have. I think they put these out for Mother's Day. This one is a caladium. And it comes in this really pretty pink pot for $14.48. And then look at these dahlias for $9.99. Beautiful. This Walmart still has some Bertonier's DS70s. No one's buying them. They also have Curtisii's and Hoya Carnosa Princess. I'm at Big Lots and I'm looking at some of the knickknacks that they have to see what I can add to it. 
can't get anything too big because there's not a whole lot of space. This actually lights up. This is really nice. Oh, this is cute. And you can always add more plants to the top of this. Watering cans down here. $14.99. And look how cute this planter is right here. The bicycle it has two planner pots on it $29.99 talk back to can oh my goodness that is so cute you are so cute you are so cute we have a bunch of cute watering cans over here different colors and different shapes they have a unicorn Snail, elephant, let me see how much these are. $5.99. This is also really cute. I love this white truck. So I'm back home now and this is everything that I purchased. From the first Home Depot, I got this Euphorbia White Ghost. Let me see what they're calling it. It's a Dragon Tree Bones. It was $26.98. Get four in the pot. And look how cute how it has that pink on the tips. And also from that location, I got this really pretty Caladium. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit this in the arrangement, but I'll see how it looks. And then when I went to the second Home Depot, I went back and I got these really pretty zinnias. I got two of those. I think they were $3.98 a piece. And I got some marigolds. So I'm gonna see exactly where I'm gonna arrange these. I don't know if I'm gonna have to um split them up or what but i'll probably have to and i just think they're so pretty i was thinking of getting the orange zinnias but i didn't like them as much as these so i just wanted to put everything that i really love inside of it so i'm loving how this looks right now i also got this really cute watering can it's exactly the look that i was going for it was $12.99 from Big Lots. It's actually a four-piece kids gardening tool set. It comes with gloves, a shovel, the can, and then what else is there in here? A rake. It says it's supposed to come with a rake. So I need to, oh, there's the rake right there. So this is really cute and I hope I have enough space for all of it. I'm sure I will. I'll just have to make everything fit. And yeah, guys, so that's my haul. And gotta try to get the stuff inside the planter. I forgot, I also got this really nice terracotta ribbed style pot from Big Lots. It was $4.99, but it rung up $3.99. It has a drainage hole and everything. I love it. If they had more than one, I would have gotten more than one, but at least I got this one. So it's actually two days later and I'm out here in the morning checking on the planter. I brought the other flowers out here as well as the little watering can that I wanna put in there. And I wanna see how much space I actually have. As you can see, we still haven't even covered up the roots on these, but they're looking good very pretty i did check on them yesterday and a lot of them were wilting 
I think it was because it was really hot and we didn't water it. So I came out here yesterday evening and I watered them and they perked right back up. I'm so happy I got these zinnias. They are so beautiful. Say hi, lady. Say good morning. Say good morning. I know these zinnias grow pretty tall, so I guess I'll have to see how that goes. I'm gonna have to be pruning it back unless it could trail over because then it'll cover these up and you won't be able to see those. Look at this little piece of Birkin. It's like a whole new plant. So I could actually move these around because they're not all the way in the soil yet. And this is the last marigold. I'm just sitting these here just to see. Like I said, I still could have rearranged these plants. Um, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. And I also have the watering can that I still need to fit in there. So I'm basically gonna be pulling up everything in there and rearranging it because as of right now, I don't like how it's looking. I gotta figure something out as far as where I want the plants to be placed, the actual house plants. Where can I fit this? Let me figure this out. All right, so I did some rearranging and I think I like how it is like this. So I put the new flowers on the outer parts, the zinnias and the marigolds. And then I put the taller plants here in the middle and then these shorter ones here also that little piece of the birkin actually broke off and this seems like it's a completely dead stem so i'm going to cut this off um i also have this little stone that i'm going to put in here this is what it's looking like right now so i just put the little hope stone right here this is what it looks like from the back i think i'm pretty happy with the way it's looking right now and I'm going to take this little piece of Birkin and try to propagate it. it. Looks like some little roots on there. So I think I could propagate it and stick it in some water because this is a little plant. Side note, look how gorgeous these flowers are on my Hoya Carnosa Princess. All right guys, so I think I have everything arranged the way that I like it in here. And I went ahead and I topped off everything with soil.
So how do you guys think we did? I thought it was really fun doing this DIY project because you can really be creative. You can use either houseplants or cacti and succulents. And also, as far as the container, you pretty much can use anything that you have just lying around. Like, I've seen people use old barbecue grills and old wagons. So there's so many different options that you can use for the container that you're um, going to make your DIY project in. So what I want to know is, are you guys going to try this project yourself? If you are, let me know in the comments what type of items you have lying around that you think you would use to make your DIY planter. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share for more plant-related videos. And I can't end this video without wishing all the amazing mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.